This solution is called the sphere. Okay, we start with a circle, which is flat, and we're going to add lines to it to make it look more three-dimensional, like a sphere. To start this, we need to start with this circle. I know you might not have a stencil in front of you, so you want to just try to draw the best circle you can. For a final project, you would need to use a stencil. Okay, we start with our circle. Then, I'm going to have you draw a line going straight up and down. Then I want you to go back to where your line at the top touches the circle, put your pencil there, and you're going to curve a line to the left and then connect it at the bottom and you'll put your pencil back up there and do that one more time. So you'll have two curves going towards the left. Then we'll do that to the right and start with the first curve. and then the second curve. Then we're going to draw a line dividing our circle this direction, so I'll go horizontal, draw a straight line all the way across. Then we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start here where this horizontal line touches my circle and make a curved line. Go back and do your second curved line. We'll do that towards the bottom. These curved lines are contour lines going along the edge of a sphere as opposed to just the outside edge showing a circle. Then I'm going to have you guys shade this in before we do our background so it doesn't get too confusing. So. I'm going to start here in the middle. I'm going to start doing my checkerboard, filling it in. Whatever's right next to this does not get filled in, so this one does not get filled in. The one next to it does. This one's black. The one next to it does not get filled in. This one will. Again, it's just a checkerboard. Again, that's black here, so it's going to be white here, so black, white, black. And white, white here, so it's black here. Then white, then black. White. Black. And I'll do the bottom parts, black here, so it's white here. Again, it's just your basic checkerboard. You should not have two filled in sections and right next to each other touching. They're going to touch in the corners. That's perfectly fine. That's how a checkerboard is. Okay, so we have our sphere completely drawn and filled in. Then I'm going to do a checkerboard in the background. Okay, this is one where generally we would measure everything to make sure it's perfectly straight. For this example, we're just going to make our lines parallel. Do not draw any lines in front of your sphere. You're going to stop on the one side and continue on the other side. So we're going to be doing a checkerboard behind the sphere. If you are choosing this optical illusion as part of your final project, then I do expect for you to measure all of your lines out on the background. You can measure them out to half inch. Unless you're doing a very large paper, you might measure them out to an inch.
Jesse, could you please unlock uh, Miss Monahan's art room? Unlock Miss Monahan's art room. Thank you. All right. So now you just need to fill in the background, just as your checkerboard pattern. Again, I do expect for you to fill in nice and neat and clean. I know that I'm going a bit fast. But it's just your basic checkerboard. With this, you might have one of your filled in areas touching one of the filled in spots of your sphere and that's completely okay. Again, our sphere, that's why I had you fill it in before we did our background so it doesn't get confusing. So when you're filling in the background, don't even pay attention to the filled in areas of your sphere. Just pay attention to the background and making the checkerboard pattern. And once you're done filling it in, that one is complete.